and it's cheap and half and so oh for baby and my doing them if so we need traffic. Through this motto, I have seen a lot of development in my life. It helped many people. Uh, it's not even we those who are selling alone. That is a similar story you would find anywhere in Kumasi or Techiman or even Tamale. It reflects how the face of public transport is changing with the influx of these tricycles. Call them Abubuya or Pragya or Adedita in Kumase and Techiman and of course Yellow Yellow popularly so called in Tamale. Along with the popularity, however, comes the dangers and inherent risks. At the hospitals, the number of casualties are soaring. Every day, I think we receive about five cases every day. So you go to AIE and you see that there are about four or five cases lying there. What are city authorities doing in the face of the rising risk levels involving these tricycles along Ghana's middle and northern belt. My name is Komla Adum and I am on the road to explore the good, the bad and the ugly side of tricycle transport. It's past 8 p.m. here at a makeshift loading base at Sepe Junction, a suburb of Kumasi. It's busy. Nighttime commuters are out on the road. 23 year old Faisal Isaka and his colleague Pragya or Adedita riders are calling out for passengers. He's one of those young men who had to quit driving trotro or taxi to venture into tricycle operation. The tricycle has become a source of transportation. I stopped driving trotro to do this. And so far, it has been rewarding. We are able to save and cater for operational cost. The tricycle is able to enter the city corners. And it is no surprise there are this many tricycle riders out here at this time of the night. Umar is 20. Even though he does not ride the tricycle, his role along this chain is popular. He is the loading boy. There's no work in the country. So for the Pragya, when the Pragya comes, it helps the boys for them to get what, what to eat. But people to take it as they are work, that they do. Okay. And, and they make it. Okay. Even so many people married with, with this Aridita, and so many people go to that, our heart that they go. So they used to do many things. Okay. So you, as an individual, how yeah. long have you been here helping the people to load? And oh. if they load like that, the people, if they load, finish them good, and they give you money, mm. how if they benefit you too? Or you to get a pragya song? No. Okay. So you no get some. I don't. I don't um, no, I don't. Uh, I'm not the driver. Also, also, let me tell you understand. Assuming, I mean, I as, as, assuming this pragya, they stand here. If they stand here now. You know, be for me, you know, be for him. You know, for someone, you go load down, you go take one CD. Okay. One CD. Per load. Yeah. Per load. Maybe so, when we are so, going to a estate or dot, 
that is where we look. We, all, we always look estate or not. So when you load and your price is full, you have to pay us 50 pesos. But at times, when the time is late, like this time, we used to collect one series. Okay. You so do you get people coming to take the price? Yeah, always. They always come here. People always come here. Because the, the, the road is not good. So no car will go there for, the, for now. Okay. When you maybe stand taxi, unless drop it. So they used to sacrifice themselves to take the people who go there because the road there is not good. Few meters away from the loading base, a mother with a baby strapped behind her back is waiting for a means of transport home after an evening church service. A cheap and half and so, oh, for baby, a maudun, the maybe so in the traffic. Go out once in fifty pesos. Moon show said, We super yanos are moving to me in your accident. And also, so it showed you. But I said, Am I a young man? Then the meeting. In kind of my banner, I'm a boy, I said, Mom, you super to win because of accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm only be busy about who must say how, what you were saying. A bear fetch him on. A bear fetch here, dear, but Miss Michelle. This is a cheaper means of transport. It is also convenient. But if it is banned, it would affect us greatly. Even though it is the most common means of transport, the riders are sometimes reckless. If you say Boa has no music you can it may then it may be free tourney and the accidents, basa basano. And I'm quite so much in it also. Boa money perfect. It's a more band than a bear boa. In the 40 or so minutes we've been here, it's been a swarm of tricycles going back and forth with passengers. Sometimes more passengers than the tricycle must take. It has led to regular brushes with the police. Police, because then we will choose our first one. I'm not sure if I'm not sure I'm not the police often stops us and checks our documentation. Once you have a roadworthy certificate and license, you are good to go. We also need to observe road traffic regulations. Faiza, Isaka and Umar the loading boy and their colleagues will be at it till midnight while others continue till the break of dawn. It's 6 a.m. here in the Sokari Mampo municipality. While Dauda Akulimawuga and his friends are busy moving from house to house, collecting refuse, the others are busy calling out passengers. Dauda and those like him are clear in their mind the role they play in ensuring sanitation in these inner cities. For some reason, they are not enthused about reports of a possible ban on the activities here. If you are to a number of a money good water, or we are put on Nanta, no one so be an audit or the tour. Until Nantisano, no one so be to an answer side of Gum, another idea, only a Yenishka. Our community would have been filthy. People who will usually litter the neighborhood now keep the refuse and we would come and collect them. Remember your time. Aha, it's a grandson be free. 
If they ban our activities, the Zongo communities would be filthy and the youth would go back to social vices. Fifty-eight-year-old Hudu Yakubu believes these tricycle operators who cart refuse from house to house are complementing the efforts of the assembly. But Yema Kwanse Aboboya is a bola. Ama Bruni Bia Uko Biani Ehute. I used to collect refuse with the tricycles. Before now, our communities were always dirty. But now their work is helping the assembly. The tricycles are also used for delivery services. I work with a company which assigns me to do deliveries with a tricycle. So it's been very helpful. So here at Sawaba in Kumase, Fuseini is getting ready to ride these passengers, including the students, to their locations. And it is what you see here each morning, especially the school children who are eager to find their way from their homes to their schools. And this is their means of transport. This transport is very well. It's helping us. It's, it doesn't take out much time. It's helping us from one place to another. We can reach school without coming late. This transport is help us too much. We doesn't go to school late. It's help us. This one is better because it doesn't take much time. It's also cheaper. These tricycles are facilitating transportation from one place to the other in the capital. It is all you see at the fuel pumps, the traffic lights, the intersections, and in the street corners. Aminu Ibrahim Bamba, secretary to the Pragya and Ukada Riders Union here, tells me their role in the lives of the people has become more prominent. We are into city transportation. Inner city transportation, transporting from short distances to the market center, to the schools, and so many city inner city transportation there are other unions that i know but we are about thousand plus and the ritual in kumasi here is over five thousand operating in kumasi here looking at the cost fuel consumption it is very economical and it has created a lot of jobs we was looking at what a taxi would take from here Baba junction to ababu station it will cost you about three cities plus but we take one city 50 percent from here to a babu station. So if you look at the economic difference, it's very much affordable. Myself, I'm a graduate. I, I did uh, computer science at the university. But after my service, I didn't get any work to do. So I was swimming about when I decided to purchase this motor. And through this motor, I have seen a lot of development in my life. You understand, even through this motto, I got married. Even through this motto, I'm currently mobilizing myself to further my education. And not even me, I know a lot of graduates who are in this work. And even they prefer even remaining in this work than even going into uh, like any sect to work. 
because of the benefit that they are getting in it. Despite the benefits in the area of job creation and sustaining livelihoods of people here, this form of transportation is not regularized, even though Ghana's Road Traffic Regulations 2012 LI-2180 is clear. Article 1281 provides, the licensing authority shall not register a motorcycle or tricycle to carry a fair-paying passenger. A person shall not use or permit a motorcycle or tricycle over which that person exercises control to be used for commercial purposes except for courier and delivery services. A person shall not ride on a motorcycle or tricycle as a fair-paying passenger. A person who contravenes sub-regulations 1, 2 or 3 commits an offence and is liable on summary conviction to a fine of not more than 25 penalty units or to a term of imprisonment of not more than 30 days or to both. In fact, on paper, they have been restricted from using some of the city's major roads and these operators have unpleasant experiences with the law. I have come to the Ashanti Regional Police Headquarters to speak to Motor Traffic and Transport Department MTTD Commander, Superintendent Emmanuel Edubwahin, about enforcement of this restriction and how far the police has gone in sanitizing the space. That one has not been uh, materialized as far as uh, the Ashanti region is concerned. Uh, in fact, I think uh, it's, it's, it's started somewhere. But here, that hasn't been our focus now. Our focus is for them to obey the road traffic rules and regulations. Since we started special operation on the use of motorbikes and then the tricycles, I think the behavior is now far, far better than it used to be. Even though it is far better, we cannot say that we have been able to completely uh, eliminate that kind of uh, uh, indiscipline. A lot of them are now complying, especially those who used to be riding on the shoulders and in the middle of the road. And most of them are now complying. Where we have a bit challenge is still on the Tafu Road and sometimes Abu Abu Stretch. But we have also been able to get some leadership and we have engaged them. And they are also doing very well. They have also started with their own local sensitization and education and engaging their people to behave the way they should because uh, we have warned them that until the behavior is changed, you will not allow anybody to go along uh, with that kind of impunity any longer. Superintendent Emmanuel Edubahin recalls an incident involving one of these tricycles right before his eyes. Remember one guy at dawn around 1 a.m. just at the city centre here, he was riding this uh, tricycle with uh, earpiece and then uh, uh, he crashed into a sprinter bus which was loaded with the cabbage from Kumasi to Accra and then he died instantly on several occasions, some of them. In fact, the way a man and that vehicle is constructed is not conducive to be used for carrying uh, passengers. That is the safety aspect that we want to hammer. Even though there are several uh, reasons for which people are using it, it is economical, it is affordable, it is accessible, and all those things. It also gives uh, some kind of employment, which we do agree. However, we should also look at the safety aspect. So that is why we have been always advising that we need to be very careful when you are riding this kind of uh, or this type of vehicle. 22-year-old Ibrahim is a victim of a motorcycle accident who has now found the Pragya as a useful source of income since his left leg was amputated. With his crutches by his side, he plies the Sawaba stretch. 
Me moto, na me to be moto two times. I know I make a shiro, and any accident to return. I had a moto accident two years ago, and my leg was amputated. I was helpless and without a job until I discovered I could ride a tricycle. First, I am not going to be a man. I am not going to be a man. I am not going to be a man. Now, I have a source of livelihood and I can cater for my family. If they ban our activities, it will cause us great trouble. Ibrahim is one of a few lucky ones to have survived the crash. Many of them have lost their lives and are only remembered in times of giving statistics. And there are several more who have remained forever. In the Ashanti region, out of a total number of 357 persons killed in wood accidents, moto and tricycle alone killed 104 between January and September 2021. Data from the MTTD show 29% of the accidents were attributed to motorbikes and tricycles. At the Accident and Emergency Center of a Konfanochi Teaching Hospital lay some of the faces behind the accident statistics. Trauma orthopedic surgeon here, Dr. Dominic Kunedu Yabwa, has seen some of the worst injuries of victims of tricycle accidents here. Road traffic trauma in Ghana is a major public health burden that has been claiming a number of lives, that has been causing a number of disabilities. This has been a long-standing problem which we are advocating for solution. Uh, nonetheless, we have this added problem of motor tricycles, uh, Pradia and then Abubuya. So in 2017, our data show that all the injuries that presented to the Confanochi Teaching Hospital, tricycles were involved in 3%, only 3% of the injuries. But recently, as we speak, in 2021, tricycles account for about 15% of all injuries. So within a period of, um, within a period of uh, four years, it has risen from 3% to 15%. So it's soaring, and the rate at which it is rising it's alarming. So we need to look at this issue of uh, tricycles causing more injuries and causing more deaths and see how we can stem the tide and help save lives. These tricycle accidents, when they happen, the injuries are severe. So sometimes you can, you can see the injury and predict that this is most likely due to a tricycle. Because the feet are exposed, the legs are exposed, and sometimes um, the, the riders tend to fall off or the, the tricycle tends to, tend to overturn. So the feet and the legs tend to be affected most of the time. So we have high energy injuries to the legs. They will come with what we call open fractures. Sometimes the leg may be mangled or it may be amputated at the site. So most of the tricycle injuries that we see involve the legs. The legs are involved in about 35% of all the injuries that we record here as a result of uh, tricycle accidents, Abubuya and then Prajaya. The riders themselves admit they are vulnerable to accidents. Some of them lose their lives and the source of livelihood for their dependents is cut out. If anything comes new, people are not used to it. Operating it, it has to take time. So at the beginning, we had a lot of accidents. But as time goes on, education and the usage, people have come used to it and how to operate it. If you talk of accidents, no, the statistics sometimes ago has shown that we have a greater percentage of accidents in terms of our Ashanti region. But as we go forward, if you look at the vehicle accidents as compared to the tricycle, it outweighs the tricycle far. But for those who are responsible for treating these injuries, it's far worse than the riders portray it. 
So long as they get here alive, we do our best to keep them alive. But we can't save them all the time. When the, 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 the injury is very severe, uh, they come, sometimes we do our best, but we lose them. Um, when, when, when it involves the limbs, we amputate the limb, they survive. But if it is so severe and multiple, sometimes you can have severe injuries to the head, severe injuries to the chest, severe injuries to the abdomen, all occurring in the same person. So instead of multiply injured patients, the, the survival rate is low. We may do a lot, but uh, most of them tend to succumb due to the multiplicity and severity of the injuries. And these are what we see from motorcycles and then uh, motor bicycles and motor tricycle uh, accidents. Despite the accident fatalities, these tricycles, whether for transport, carting goods and refuse, have such a huge market here. This is Alabad, one of the busiest enclaves for motorized tricycles and the Pragya that transports individuals from one point to the other. It is also a hub where spare parts of these uh, motorized tricycles are sold and also fresh, brand new motorcycles are sold. We are here to understand from the perspective of those who deal in sale of these, how it is impacting their livelihoods and how this form of transportation has become the mainstay. Alhaji Sumaila is a businessman who sells fresh tricycles in this enclave. But they be a man for Betoa, they breed the age man. We be to turn up because hey, Alhaji Madi, I'm to Abu Amo, Masan to be a kahu, and hunt to Chimada. It depends on how said Obi said then Obi you soon. Me now back when I go back to the machine, I also want to sell them. Only say we handle the bag back back to fifteen. And then the dia, a man for the two man to sell Obi Juma. We plan to talk within six months. We want to improve the table more. Many people come to buy the tricycles from us. They attest to the fact that it has been helpful. One of my brothers take care of about 15 tricycles because the business is booming. All you need is to render sales of 50 cities a day. Multiply by one month, you are gone. By the end of the year, you won't have offset the cost. In the mobile, I just sixty, eighty, seventy years old. What you mean? What you mean? Can I die, Juma? Answer, Anka. Ebi, Anka. Juma, am I? Juma, I say, I'm going to come back to Eden. I'm going to pension. It is good business. There are sixty, seventy, and eighty-year-olds who still ride this. In the public sector, they would have been on retirement, so it has been beneficial. Enya noa. Is it said the population is see banana? Is it kind of Anka? Mesa. Can the bit be a grand Anka? Traffic no Eden. He and his other colleagues along this stretch have all the spare parts for motorbikes and tricycles on sale. We have all the spare parts available here and the cost of the parts are affordable. We have a lot of clients. We can sell as many as 10 tricycles in a week. So imagine all those on this lane. I have met Mohamed Muntari also at Alaba. He is famed for managing more than five tricycles in and around this city. I supervise operation of eight tricycles, even though not all of them are mine. People entrust them into my care, so I get reliable people to ride them, and they make daily sales of 50 Ghana CDs. But these days, the buyers complain about the costs of the tricycle, but because of the increase in fuel prices, the cost of the tricycles has shot up. I did press with 
Debi ayiko ay. Dole lu kwa ni lu suko. Si si at least eh prage se ubanya at least under sixty million old cars. One sixty. Currently, one tricycle cost sixteen thousand cities. It used to be twelve thousand cities. So you see, there has been four thousand increase. The costs will continue to rise if the fuel price continues to spike. It is big business, and the more the patronage, the more Muntari and Alhaji Sumaila remain in business. Aziz Abdul Wahab, however, is worried he may be out of business soon because of a talk about town that city authorities are mulling over a possible ban. Our market is no more moving like how it was. Uh, simply because now the police, they are disturbing those who arrive, those, those who are riding. Uh -huh. And two, we are also hearing that they said the government want to bind the, this, the Pragya. So because of that, those who were buying, now they are not afraid to buy. You see? So the market is no more moving like first. Uh -huh. First, by one week, you can sell ten or six or this. But this time around, you can sell only three or two. And you can even sit at all the weeks, you can even sell one. Uh -huh. But we are also seeing that the Pragya also help people here. Uh -huh. Like uh, our, where we stay, I know so many people there. They were sitting, smoking, roaming, picking, stealing. But now because of the Pragya, those people all, they are now focusing on their driving. Those who are smoking, self, they don't get time to smoke. I have one of our mother here. He was having one child. He was to smoke. Now he bought one Pragya for the medicine. The guy doesn't even, even have time to go and smoke or to do some those things. So he even advised me that the, the Pragya is good. But we don't know. They are saying that our, our government wants to buy it. So we too, we don't have anything to say. Uh -huh. So we, for my side, I know the Pragya, it helps many people. Uh, it's not even we, those who are selling alone. You understand? Uh, so, as for me, the government should allow them to work. Uh, because there is no job, there is no work in Ghana. Uh, I'm seeing that Kumasi here, the Pragya, it works, they help us a lot. So, we should also understand and let them work. So that we, are, we those who are also selling, who will be selling to and be getting our small, small, the same thing. Feed our family. I have been on the road, and this is the Ashanti regional capital. In some places like the Setra Fram Plains area, some tricycles have been fabricated to serve as ambulances for some hard to reach areas. And so it's a clash of convenience, affordability, accessibility, safety, and a means of aching out a living. In the Bono East regional capital, the storylines are similar. Common form of transport here is the tricycle. In the central business districts, it's a competition for space among motorcyclists, tricycle riders, and a few vehicles. Like in Kumase, these tricycles, I'm told, are banned from using the highways. But right here, we see a number of them. Even worse, people crammed in the bucket of some of these tricycles 
headed for a funeral. It's a Saturday. Head of a road safety authority in the Bono East region, Emmanuel Echampon Parry, is aware of the dangers. In fact, a staggering 51 people have already been killed this year alone from motorbike and tricycle crashes here. In the region, yes, since uh, January to September, the region has recorded 208 crashes. Uh, out of it, 144 comes from the motorcycles and the Pragya riders. And out of it, 88 people have lost their lives. And out of the 88, 51 people were killed by the motorbikes and the Pragya riders. In Techima here, they have been banned from using the Kumasi Highway, yeah, Kumasi Road. And such areas too, they are not allowed to uh, use them. So we are doing it in our own way in uh, Techima here. But we are also embarking on the education, uh, making sure they do the right thing when they are riding. They, they are not jumping right light. Uh, they are following traffic and they don't speed and when they do all this, I don't think it will be a major problem uh, talking about banning or not banning them. So as road safety, we train them. Last quarter, we, we trained about 500 of the Pragya riders. From there, we've seen some improvement in them. So we are working hand in hand with them. We are training them, we are educating them. Because most of them even don't know that they have to get license when they are riding. So with the education and a little enforcement, I think things will move. Uh, better. I am headed for the northern regional capital, Tamale, to meet the Tricycle Operators Union there. City authorities are battling congestion because of the sheer numbers of tricycles known popularly here as Yellow Yellow. It's a mix of motorbikes, tricycles used sometimes for cutting goods and people, and then the rickshaw for passenger transport. I dare say you could find a lot more tricycles here in the capital than vehicles, at least from what I've seen already. Regional chairman of a Yellow Yellow Riders Union here, Seidu Idrisu, attests to this. He wants law enforcers to enforce the law instead of driving them away from the roads. I lay a man, the character to Kufara Pam, be Panda Benka Katuma, Kajiti Gunana, Yoko Puna Ben Manvar, Yoko and Gata Swante, Kalabin Mazaha. Driving us from the road is not the best because we have people with degree and diploma certificates doing this work. Yellow Yoman Kanakatuma to Bene, Katizapa to Tumna, those are either Yellow Yoman, one of the government guard and then come on, be Yamatinum. What should be done is for the National Road Safety and the Police Service to ensure users have road-worthy certificates to be able to use the road. The Assembly makes a lot of money from us to meet their developmental needs. Our challenge is the cost of buying the motorbike. It is now very expensive. For station chairman Amin Al Hassan, the issue of miners riding these tricycles is a real challenge they have to deal with. The Tumama Rivier Pum Pumpo met a Pamana Canata Pasha Mata Tumama Pabuan Rinyanti. So Catrebuanati Mioconzanti Gomdanti Corina to let the Pamazo Pumpo Yerma de Yinama the far nearby Pambahe. A lot of the youth in this region now have work to do and are able to feed their families. Catuma Cabe Yanapa Dorla Yelo Yeloma. The Zoyel Mana Canagana. Regional 
Ils ont fait des Yes, it's true. Most of the users are minors and ride recklessly on the road, causing several avoidable accidents, which we are working to put measures in place to resolve. But stopping the business will be detrimental to our livelihood. <laughs> I heard that uh, the government is trying to stop this our tricycle business and that is where we also made our way of surviving. Although some of us used to have our handwork doing before we even jump into this tricycle business. So now they are trying to stop us and I, don't, I want to understand, do we went out uh, to other countries and bring it in or government is aware of it? Because we pay taxes. We pay so many taxes to the, even the, the assemble. Fine. And now they are trying to stop the work. About two months to three months now, they asked us to go for license. We went and did the license. So now if they are trying to stop us from it, I don't know whether they will bring us back our money and the vehicle's money or what are they going to do? Because some of us, maybe if they stop us from it, we can jump back into our skill work. Or maybe some of us were doing business. We can jump into it. So if I, I was a businessman and I invest my money into this drastic business and now you are stopping me to, you are asking me to stop the work and I don't have the money back. So what am I going to do? You want me to go back to the house and be sitting in the house doing nothing and I have a family. I have my wife and my children. Municipal Chief Executive Officer for Tamale, Sule Salifu admits, even though there is a congestion problem in the city, removing the tricycle operators is not the way to go in the immediate term. We all agree that sometimes the um, users or the drivers of these yellow yellow are, are, are children. They, they are supposed to be in school, they are not in school. That is an issue that we have to deal with. But you see, when it comes to that, parents do also have that responsibility of taking care of their children. But I'm saying that the importers or the business people who bring this yellow yellow into the system must, must assist the assembly, must help the chiefs and people of the metro to you know, manage affairs so that they can also be in business. So I'm going to engage them and I'm sure that um, they, they, they will respond positively. Unlike his counterparts in the Greater Accra region who have instituted a ban on the use of these tricycles on the motorway and other highways, Sule Salifu says a different approach could work. For now, it will be difficult for the assembly because, uh, like I told you, I'm going to engage the leadership of the Yellow Yellow people to uh, hear from them and to let them suggest to me how we can make their work easy and make Tamale a decent place. They should be able to tell me something. For instance, where do they want us to relocate them to? They should have an idea. What, what do they want the assembly to do for them so that their presence on the road will not be nuisance to commuters? I'm, I need to engage with them. Like I told you, they are, they are our people. They are human beings. We need to respect them. They have, they, 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 they have ideas that we must get from them. One, they themselves know the nuisance they cause affects everybody. What do they want the assembly to do or help them to make Tamale a clean city. What would they do to stop the children from using these machines and go back to school? They should be able to tell us. If we do that with them, we'll have, we'll have um, a permanent solution to the problem. The decision by the Tamale Municipal Assembly not to clear out these tricycles by way of a ban means the several thousands of people who rely on this form of transport will still be in business, including 35-year-old Isahaku Rashid, who runs a mechanic shop for tricycles and motorbikes. Because 
ka different person ne ka kanna bi ko nim manwa bi nyerem bel ma ka viela ka chinanti yarba ka kanna I have been doing this work for long before the yellow yellow was introduced. The work is good because in a day, I am able to work on 50 to 100 bikes which I used to feed my family. I have also trained and passed some apprentices with over 20 of them still undergoing training. The yellow yellow is now the easiest form of transport. We just come to stay and we in the value chain are benefiting. Governments should regularize it and not stop it. So we when they carry yellow yellow nima the nama unkwe yero ku nama because don't come to na kamu no family sadira. Many of the city's tricycle owners come here for their parts to be fixed. But what is the cost of allowing all these tricycles to operate on the roads without any proper scrutiny? Meet consultant orthopedic at the Tamale Teaching Hospital, Dr. Togu Yempab. He is alarmed at the daily casualties from tricycle accidents in the capital brought here. Every day, I think we receive about five cases a day. Every day. So you go to AIE and you see that there are about four or five cases lying there. Severe injured patient comes here, especially the, you know, the motorbikes, the tricycle, there is the motor king. Uh, so the majority of the cases that we are receiving are from uh, those uh, uh, type of transport. Uh, so and the, they come with a very severe injuries and they open fractures and also multifragmentary and the multiple injured patient that means uh, it's not only one bone that is fractured uh, so you have the humeral shaft fracture you have a tibia you have the a femur so one person will have all this and sometimes it's bilateral both sides and uh, if just before you enter here you can see there are two people lying there and they, they have this kind of uh, injury and they, they came here and we treated them. So some will come, looking at the, even the, the, the severity of the injuries, <laughs> you want to treat them and they will tell you that they are going to the bone center for treatment. So these are the challenges that we are having with some of our patients. A lot of them come from uh, also other regions, especially the Vrongo area. And when they are referring somebody from there, just have in mind that uh, it's not only one, one side that is fractured, bilateral, and the segmental. <laughs> you see, so the bone is fractured in different, different uh, areas. He wants measures put in place to properly regulate these tricycles and reduce the rate of accidents and further reduce the strain on the limited number of orthopedic surgeons available. They have to look at uh, the mode of transport and also try to not allow everybody you just because somebody can buy the motorbike for you or the motor king, especially this prior, they call it yellow yellow. Yes, so people they don't even have the, the driving license or riding license and they just use it because uh, the brother or the, the, the friend can buy it for them. And so they are using it, they don't even know the regulations, how to, at the junction, how to go about it. You see people careful anyhow when you are driving, even when you are in the car. If you don't pay attention in Tamale here, you have a lot of problem. Because you are going this way, and the person will care without even looking at uh, you coming. That is because they don't know. Currently, we are three orthopedic surgeons in the northern, if the population, the three regions, Combined, it's about uh, five million, uh, five million, and we have only three orthopedic surgeons divided. So one orthopedic surgeon for how many? More than hundred thousand. More than hundred thousand. Uh, you understand? So it's, it's 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 a challenge. Well, as grim as these details appear, across the middle and northern belt, the riders want their operations regularized.
public relations officer for the Pragya and Okada Drivers Union in Kumasi, Alhassan Sidi, believes this could properly streamline their activities. The government of the day is also benefiting more from this work that we are doing. Currently, you can go to DVLA and check. These are the data. I'm not talking about the general Ghana. In even Kumasi, not Ashanti region, we are more than 10,000. And each and every day, when you go to DVLA, you see cars coming to register, you see this motor. You will see about 40 to 50 motors. That's the one you go, you see. They are there to register. They pay for roadways and the insurance. These tickets, each and every day, we pay one CD. Each and every moving this tricycle pays one CD. So let's get, assuming we are, let's say, 10,000. And every day we are buying this ticket for one CD. So how many, how much is the government benefiting from us every day? In a month, you see. And the second thing, even the municipality that we are running through, that is Esquadrimampo, they have a sticker that we use to buy sometimes yearly. We pay for that one too. And the sticker, uh, this ticket, this is for KME. You, you see, K KME on it. Good. And initially, this municipal has its own ticket that we also buy as one Ghana CD2. You understand? So when you get all these things, you can see that even the government is benefiting on us even more than what we are benefiting from government. Now, when you go to fuel station, go and ask any filling station, those patrolling their fuel, it is this motor. And we, this way, is boosting Ghana economy. So if government will look at the benefit on this angle, not even on our side, and regularize this work, I think it will help the youth. Initially, when you come to Ababu, there are a group that they call Arabagari. They don't work. So every blessing day, you see police patrol and military within the Ababu. They are chasing them because they are fighting with guns, cutlasses, through this work. How long have you heard that there, there are some function fighting going on in Abu Abu? Because now everybody is working. So no one is sitting at a base. So now, you see, even the crime rate in our community has been reduced to, the, to zero level. Believe it or not, tricycles have changed the phase of transportation in these areas. Its popularity has made other forms such as taxis and commercial buses almost extinct. And for many, cashing in on what is common is the way to go, to earn a living and to fend for themselves and their families. But increasingly, the human cost of this common form of transport is calling for an urgent fix, perhaps now or never, to deal with a tricycle nightmare. Komla Adum on the road with assistance from righteous Hamidu Karim. Ibrahim Abubakar and Christopher Amwakun.